my body. Like, fuck me. The bad is finally over. All the good stuff is waiting for you. Oh my god! <laughs> whoop, whoop! That's the sound of the police. Huh? Huh? That's the sound of the geese. So you're really going to block the star of Gore World just because I'm defending myself against people? Are you serious? The star of Gore World? Hey, girl gang. Hello there, girl world. How is everybody? It's so good to see you guys. Happy Friday and happy Friday the 13th. Ooh, it's freaky deaky on Friday the 13th. Everybody. I don't know if you saw some freaky shit happen today. I've seen some real freaky shit happen today. There's something about this day. I don't know. So I'm happy we're at the end of it. Phew, phew, safe at home, online, together. Everything is good. Uh, I'm so glad it's Friday. It's so good to see you guys. I know a lot of you guys have a three-day weekend. We do not have a three-day weekend. But enjoy your three-day weekend, whoever has it. <laughs> uh, I genuinely, uh, I'm jealous. I, I wish we had a three day weekend, but you know, you win some, you lose some. We'll have one someday that you guys don't have. Clover, it was a weird day. Agreed. All the freaks come out on a full moon or a Friday the 13th. And uh, I mean, all the freaks come out. Like I said, my brother was born on a Friday the 13th. So there's one little freak coming out on a Friday the 13th. Uh, it is what it is. All the freaks. Oh, it's MLK Jr. Day. Okay, I did not know what was your three-day weekend, but I just heard that you had a three-day weekend. Okay. My brother's going to kick my ass. Ah, right. He knows all about my assorted bats and the fact that they're all over the place. He wouldn't even try me at this point. Um, Wait, nothing too weird happened? Just the weather lost its goddamn mind? Well, there you go. That's pretty weird. Weird enough, the, the weather is on one or people are on one. It's one or the other, but it's eh, it's one or the other. I don't know what to say. Just a lurker. Hey, girl. Welcome to the girl gang. Thanks for being here. Happy Friday to you. Hey, Nemi. FFG. Every time it snows, I feel like I can hear you screaming. Listen, we, we have worked this out that me and Nemi maybe neighbors we may live like within five minutes of each other it's more than likely so you know what as i'm out there digging out the shit box i don't doubt for a second that you have actually heard me screaming curse words uh, you know what i wouldn't be surprised them honestly <laughs> uh that's what i was doing this afternoon that's why we're starting a little late i had to dig out the shit box the shit box in the winter and my little baby in the summer. But in the shit, when you have to shovel it, it's the shit box. So I was shoveling out the shit box this afternoon. I got so exhausted. I had to come up and take a nap like right away. So we're starting a little late because uh, I just woke up too long, not, not too long ago. Freaking <sighs> snow. Heather Jackson, thank you for the super chat. Frenchie, today is my 33rd birthday. Well, happy birthday to you. Ooh, girl, your birthday's on Friday the 13th this year. And 33 on the 13th. I don't know. I'm no numerologist, but something tells me you should be betting on three this year, girl. That's that's pretty cool. Happy birthday. I hope you enjoy your long birthday weekend. Wow, that really worked out, eh? Chantal is not bobbing for apples. Thank you for the super chat. We're getting bagels at work, but they're bad. We've always had bagels here at the place you work. I don't want to dox your work. Like, but that's that is there really something that Canada has before the states food-wise? That never happens. Jealous of our bagels. Jealous. <laughs> Speaking of bagels, today was the release of the Nike bagel. What did they call it? The bagel Nike swoop or the Montreal bagel swoop. I don't know what the hell the name was. They've come out with a sneaker specifically about the Montreal bagel. It's so cute. There's little, I mean, it's it's not so cute. It's so ugly that it's cute. You ever seen something that is like so hideous that it's adorable and you really want it because it's so ugly? That's that shoe for me. I need those shoes. They have sesame seeds painted all over the front of them. And the swoosh is the blue of St. Viator Bagel, a Montreal institution. They're so cute. And they... What do they call it? The bagel dunk. That's it. Thank you, that woman. 
Uh, they did like a, a three day early release today at a, at a place downtown called Off the Hook. And people were lined up down the block in the snow and the cold this morning. They were serving them bagels in line. It was so cute. I need those hideous, hideous shoes. I like the Gucci chair. No, they're not quite that ugly, to be fair. To be fair. I messaged my brother yesterday. I'm like, hey, because you, you can like, I was like going to go and get in line for these shoes this morning. But you can only get one pair per person. So I'm like, hey, you want to wake up early with me and go and get in line and off the hook and get the shoes? He answers back like, Ew, are you crazy? Those are butt ugly. <laughs> I'm like, okay, you could have just said no. Jesus, you know? <laughs> uh, long story short, I didn't freaking go and get the shoes either. I'll wait three days and order them with the peasants. Link Lawrence, thank you for the super sticker. I appreciate it. Oh, Gucci gang, gamer girl. I got the tabs all ready to go. We're just still talking about snakes and bagels for now. Monica Coco, thank you for the super chat. Hey, FFG, happy Friday. Let's get high and laugh. Girl, virtual high five, long distance from my uh, high five and a Canadian dollar. I should have known Canadian to Canadian. Mm, that's exactly what I want to do on this Friday. Yay, guys, let's, well, I mean, not everybody, but let's laugh. And whoever wants to do the other thing, a marhaba. Okay. <laughs> Today, we're going to be watching, speaking of, of laughing, uh, we're going to be taking a look. Chantal is back. Woo! The punishment is over. I don't know. I can't speak for you guys, but when I wasn't able to post on YouTube for a week, it felt like it was like two years, two years of silence. It felt so long. Her week of punishment, like you blinked, it was over. I couldn't even believe she was back. It's like a week already. What? You know, but yeah. Okay. So she's back. So she posted up a recorded video. It's interesting. I have to press the video to start the, like to, to download it. I heard just her voice in the first, let's say minute of the video. She's got a new low BMI voice. It's weird. It's not the same, but it's equally annoying, but it's a little different. Like she's been working all week on a low BMI voice change. Very strange. So we're going to watch that together. And then I just thought for shits and gigs, since her, her video that she just posted up is so short, we can also watch the God awful, and I say that without having seen them because I know, uh, couples vlog. It's called Couple Vlog with Sharks and Dinosaurs in Kuwait with a quick Megan movie review. Now, okay, leaving aside the Megan review, if I read something about sharks and dinosaurs in Kuwait, I would be expecting some kind of children's video. So let's watch that one together too. <laughs> Cam Burglar, hey girl, thank you for the super chat. Nice in your city. We have something called pork snow. Uh, uh, condensation from the packing plant. Is this real? Are you pranking me on this Friday? Pork snow. So two of the things that I hate most on this planet combined into one. Oh my God. That's like Sharknado. You remember that movie Sharknado? They could make a movie called Pork Snow and it would just be whatever the fuck that actually is. Uh, that's a hell on earth. Pork Snow. <laughs> so instead of just digging out my car from the snow, I would have been digging out my car from the, the Pork Snow. Does it, it must, it's all porky and shit. So your, your shovel's getting greasy. Oh, girl, that's disgusting. Why don't you move? Oh, I'd be like, board up the windows. I'm getting the fuck out of here. Pack up my pork snow covered car and just get the fuck out of town. Oh, I need someone to make the movie pork snow. This needs to exist. I can't believe I'm hearing this for the first time in my life at 38 years old. Can I take a note? Wait, where's my pen? Where's my post-it? Damn it. Come here, post-it. I, I got to write this down. I, I got some Googling to do after the stream. Pork snow. Well, I'll be going down a crazy fucking rabbit hole tonight, y'all. Uh, speaking of rabbit holes, just before we get into this, I'm sorry that's taking so long, but um, I, I, I'm sure it's come up for a lot of you because I noticed that this guy's channel... He used to get like, let's say 15,000 views a video. And now suddenly he's getting like 120,000 views a video. So I'm assuming he's popping up in everyone's algorithm. I don't even remember the name of the channel, but I have fallen down this weird rabbit hole two days ago, all about this guy who lives in a van, but it's like, like a cool van. Like, it, Ooh, they've made it like a home in the back of the van, but it's like, it's a van. And 
he specifically goes to snowy places for like camping in the van. And so I don't know why there's something about the way he films edits and his voice is so soothing. I can't stop watching this guy. I'm so deep down this rabbit hole. It's two days now. So tomorrow on Twitch in the afternoon, I'm taking y'all down my friggin' uh, new rabbit hole. It's so cute. It's so cozy. I love the snow as long as I don't have to shovel it. Like if I look at it and, or like watch it on a video or see it like out a window and I don't have to shovel, there's nothing more adorable, cute, mm, cozy, romantic than the snow. I'm, I'm like living vicariously through this guy's van while sitting on my fat ass in my living room. So tomorrow we will be going down the van snow guy rabbit hole question mark. I don't even know. I forget what the hell the channel is called. I will have all that info tomorrow. All right. Van life vlogs. It's, I don't usually like those van life vlogs. They make me very nervous. I don't like the idea of no plumbing, no shower. I just, uh, I, can't, I can't, it's not my vibe, but this guy, it's just this, the way that this weirdo chases the snow and stuff, I don't get it. It's like he enjoys digging out the car. He likes to get snowed in every night. And every morning he's digging it out. And I'm like, you and me, man, we're just like totally opposites. But it's riveting to watch. So, yeah, that's that's my new rabbit hill. We will discuss more tomorrow. Mediocre millennial, thank you for the super chat. New to the girl gang. Well, welcome to the girl gang. My husband came upstairs just now to me side-eyeing him over my shoulder, eating McDonald's fries, blaring your intro at full volume. Yes, one of us. <laughs> I love that. Sorry, husband. Um, But yeah, mediocre me, uh, millennial. Thank you for being here, girl. Oh, oh God. M. Shan, that's sad. See, I don't, I don't have any kind of like association to the van life. The only association I have association I have to the van life is that you don't have plumbing to your toilet and very few of them actually have a shower. And the places that I've seen these people go and shower, I often think like, yeah, but you're coming out of that place and you're already gross. I, I've said it before. I know I'm weird about kitchens and bathrooms. Okay. I think of those places as sacred and the places you go to clean should be clean. So when you're going like to like public places and gyms and stuff to shower, like a gym shower is better than no shower. But like, I want to take a shower when I come home from a gym shower. Does that make sense? Like, you're not clean in my mind. You're just cleaner than you were five minutes before that. But like, that's not peak clean. So in my brain, they're always 10% at a minimum dirty which means they're constantly fucking up their homes. If your sheets are clean and your little, little van life is clean, you're coming in there with your gym showered self. You're fucking that shit up right away. And like, I don't know, that gives me anxiety. So it's really not about the van living for me. It's more about this guy with his weird snow angle and why he's so obsessed with the snow. As someone who hates the snow, I'm riveted by this guy's brain. Jojo, thank you for the super chat. We're making a pool for the lotto at work. Not high hopes, because bro, it's the lotto. But I still got a ticket with your name on it. Ooh, well, good luck. That is fantastic. I hope you win, girl. That's so cute. <laughs> um, Saul, thank you for the super chat. I'm getting high and laughing. Well, welcome to the club. So am I. <laughs> Enjoy your Friday night. I know I am. Hey. Uh, hang on. I need to cough. I don't want to work in your faces. Oh my God. Yeah. Thanks, Clover. Y'all are still going off about how she made up community tabos. She made up community. Y'all, we're, we're talking about filthy vans and stuff. We haven't even started Chantal yet. I'm trying to catch up on the chat. I'm very well aware that there's a community tab post. All the tabs are lined up. Come on. Do, do you not think that? Anyway, listen. I know there's a community tab post. It's okay. We will get there. Nikki Finn, thank you for the super chat. You got into, I figured he was going in like, you know, when YouTube just randomly starts recommending somebody to everybody, I knew it had to be. Cause like, if you look back two weeks ago, the videos were getting 15,000 views, which I'm not shitting on. I'm just saying 15,000 to like 120,000 in a week. And if you go back on his community tab, he just hit 10,000 subs, like not too long ago. And his channel's already blowing up. So yeah, YouTube was like pushing him on everyone. Abby, hey girl, thank you for the super chat. Here's my cult membership fee. Thank you so much, girl. Have a great weekend. Have a great long weekend. Enjoy every second of it. That's fantastic. 
Miss Booby Buff, thank you for the super chat. Max, my puppy loves your voice. He looks at my TV. That's so sweet. Maxi, Maxi, baby. Maxi, who's a good boy? <laughs> Thanks for being here, Miss Booby Buff and Max. Is she hot? Is he hot? Um, no. He's he's very skinny. He's just I don't know. He looks like the like the boy next door. He's very like a generic kind of run of the mill. Very skinny little guy. Sometimes I see him cooking and I'm like, dude, add a little more food in there. Like you're not eating enough. You know, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that's that's my bias. But like um, there, there also there's some drama going on in that channel, which we'll get into tomorrow. But there used to be a girl with him in the van. Well, not in the van. In the They used to be in a different car. And it seems like he took a little break and he came back and the girl's gone. So there's clearly been some fresh heartbreak there. Uh, he seems different compared to the videos he used to make and a little down. He's very young. You know, you know how that young love hits, right? So we, we have drama and intrigue and heartbreak in the snow van. It's listen, we will go there tomorrow. This guy is riveting. <laughs> Flirty, no Hershey. Thank you for the super chat. I'm floating. Wait, let me grab my wine and she's girl. Enjoy it. Shit. That is a Friday right there. Oh, young love. Exactly, right? You know how hard it hits those first few loves that you're like, oh, he. you can see it on his face. And he's half French. He's spoken French. He made boeuf bourguignon. And he's like like a real French, not a Quebecois trash, like a real French. And he's just got the ennui written all over his face. He looks like such a distressed little Frenchman having perdu son amour, lost his love. It's like, it's so dramatic in the van. I love it. Oh, I'm, I'm so in on like, this is my new rabbit hole. Elizabeth, thank you for the super chat, girl. Happy Friday to you. All right. All right. Listen, shall we get to Chantal before people start getting pissy? Because I know some people are getting pissy. Oh, no, I forget his name already. Well, have, listen, I, I have a shitty, shitty memory. It's only been two days on this new guy. For now, he's van guy. Van life guy. Okay. Le unruly Ponduli, Jenny M. I love that name. Thank you for the super chat, girl. Also, hi and teeing. Girl, enjoy every teehee and every joke. And enjoy your weekend. And ta for the super chat. Oh. <laughs> Lisa Bear, thank you for the super chat. Getting as baked as an apple pie. That's my kind of baked. Yes, girl. <laughs> enjoy it. Have a great weekend. Okay. Let me get, no, you know what? Before we get into the video, let's take a look at her ridiculous, already ridiculous community tab post. She's been back for a few hours. She's already complaining on the community tab. So let me get that tab and we can get back to our regularly scheduled programming of shit on every word she says. <laughs> All right, wait, NASA enhance. Okay. I haven't done a dramatic community tab reading in a while. Let me get a swig of my drink. <clears throat> Let me remember the voice. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> hey, guys. One more thing. Wait, what? One more thing. Okay, whatever. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> One more thing. And I think it's important to say, well, I acknowledge that reaction channels are a thing. And so is online criticism. I don't agree that it is fair for another creator to steal the views of another. I just uploaded my video, not even an hour ago, and already a reaction channel has gone live to review it. I will have to check with YouTube if there's anything that can be done about this. She's literally been checking with YouTube if anything can be done about this for what, six years now? Just because you don't think it's fair. And just because you keep typing out, I'm going to be checking with YouTube. I'm going to be contacting my fake YouTube manager. Doesn't mean anything can come of this. Fair use is fair use. Transformative is transformative. And butthurt is what you are. Okay? Mm. And we'll have to check with YouTube if there's anything that can be done about this. I doubt this, unfortunately. But in the meantime, if you want to support me, please do not watch these content thieves. I find it demoralizing taking the time to create content, but only to have it stolen moments later after I upload. I have a large hate watching community who would rather give to the views to someone else. But the problem is this isn't their content. 
If you have something relevant to say, RE, my content, fine. But just be uploading or streaming my entire video so that an audience of haters can pick it apart without anything relevant to add is just wrong, in my opinion. Imagine if you took the time to create something. She's talking like she's fucking Michelangelo here. Imagine if you, you took the time to create. <laughs> And to open yourself up to your audience only to have a lot of your views stolen by someone else who doesn't create their own content but uses yours for their own gain and to further spread negativity or falsehoods about your situation and content. It's to the point where, oh wait, that I barely feel it's worth it sometimes to even bother anymore. Oh, everybody get out their tiny violins. Let's play her a fucking tune. Okay. Yeah, wait a moment. Anyway, I hope at least some of you understand my point of view on this as a creator. Thanks for the support. Why would you have thanks for the support when you're bitching that nobody goes and supports you and everybody's watching on reaction channels? Who are you thanking for the support? Pissy poo. No one cares. Elizabeth. Thank you for the super chat, girl. Uh, I find it hilarious. Like, she's been back for hours at this point. Hours. And one of the first things that she goes on to do is to bitch and piss and moan on her community tab. Talking about all the time she spends to create. Keeping in mind, we're speaking about somebody whose 95% of content is mukbangs. All the time I spend to create sitting there stuffing your face, creating or talking shit about people's wives or a reaction channel or just random strangers on the internet. They steal all the things that I take my time to create. <laughs> the artiste is pissed. <laughs> Was a week too long? To not bitch. I swear that week felt like it took two seconds. It's not fair. Jill Sandwich, thank you for the super chat, girl. Ooh, ooh, enjoy. <clears throat> the insanity of it all, right? Clover, exactly. Well, it's not up to you, Chantal. Reaction channels are not against TOS. Exactly. Her gripe, like, anyway, what is the point of bitching about that until the end of time? We don't care. The reaction channels don't care. It makes me laugh. The fact that that's the first thing she had to say. She's been gone for a week. And instead of like, I don't know, thanks audience for like your patience and waiting for me for a week. We're going to have fun to make up for lost time. I don't know. Something cornball like that. You come out with another. And another thing, reaction channels. I will be contacting YouTube. Like, you will never change. You never learn a lesson. You're coming off of a fucking seven day hand slap and you're still coming back with the same bullshit, the same narrative, the same community tab complaining. So, girl, bees and let bees live your damn life. You're mad that you're not getting views. Stop blocking people. Stop blocking comments. This isn't rocket science. We've all been saying it for years. Make your content fun. If you could turn your content into as much fun as we turn your content into, you wouldn't have a problem. People wouldn't be seeking out other places to watch your boring shit, but they are. So that's on you. You got to figure out how to do better. And just mm, complaining on the reaction channel for another year isn't really doing anything better. You're just giving people same of those same, same old boring crap that you always do. It is what it is. Nixie, thank you for the super chat. Ooh, the blimp is broke and flailing. Brokeity broke, like broke, broke. I think so, definitely. Uh-huh. Like brokeity broke, broke. <laughs> Allegedly conspiracy, whatever. <clears throat> Sorry, guys, I keep coughing because, I mean, I keep pausing because I don't want to cough in your faces. I'm disheveled. Thank you for the super chat. Please shout out my... What? What? Dog nickname is Dip. Dip. <laughs> We're not dipping. <laughs> we haven't even started it yet. What dip? Julie, hey girl, thank you for the super chat. Listening to you guys while I was showering. All I can say, have you guys had a hot shower with shower bombs? Hi. It's amazing. I have not. I've, I've just recently seen these shower bombs thing. I don't know. I, I'm going to have to Google this. Does it make mess like a bath bomb does? Because that's the last thing I want in my life. Something else to have to clean up. God damn it. I'm trying to eliminate those things, not have more to scrub. If they, if they clean by themselves out of the tub, I could get behind that. Nothing wrong. 
Stop saying dip, you little shits. <laughs> Sussy Wolfcat, thank you for the super chat. Happy Friday to you too. Thanks for being here. We know you're watching while rage eating. Rage eating. I love that. That's funny, DG. Rage eating. Can you imagine? Le unruly ponduli. Thank you for the super chat. Will there be any round shaming tonight? I got a lot of projection. <laughs> I mean, maybe. It depends where she goes. I don't think so, though. It's a pre-edit, uh, like an edited video. Hmm. Normally, she will edit that crap out. This is her first day back. She's probably going to be good today. Unless she comes live later on. Bloop. Elizabeth, thank you again for the super chat. Shout out to my dog. Bloop. Hi, Bloop. <laughs> Should I name, name my next pet Bloop? Just to run around dog runs like, bloop, bloop, come here, bloop. Why not? It's why I wanted to name Ollie Tori Spelling for a brief period. I thought it would be funny chasing a dog around a dog park going, Tori Spelling, you come right back. <laughs> you get back over here, Tori Spelling. <laughs> yes, I was high when I came up with that idea. Come on. Virgo, oh no, thank you for the super chat. I've been home with a broken foot. Oh no, girl, that sucks. I hope everything heals quickly. Thanks for being here. Try to enjoy your weekend. Maybe have a, a laugh with the girls. We do kind of get ridiculous on a Friday and for no reason at all. We always talk about cheese and butt stuff on a Friday. It always goes there. I don't know what's wrong with us. We're, we're sick. Dana Smith, thank you for the super chat. Shout out to my girlfriend, Salem. You rock. Hey, Salem. Hey, girl. Hmm, girl, you rock, girl. <laughs> thank you for being here, Dana. All right. What do you say? Should we start? Uh, what do we want to do first? We'll do the Chantal one first and then we'll go into the couples content and then we can just talk about cheese and butt stuff. Yeah, let's just get it over with. I know all the normies probably want to fuck off before we get down to the butt stuff. <laughs> Let me get the tab. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't, you don't do these for a couple of days and it's like, uh, you're like a little Bambi who's never done this before. Mm. Uh, Cam. Hey girl. Thank you for the super chat D and I can't stress this enough. Yep. <laughs> Julie, thank you again for super chat. Not going to lie. Lily's nickname has been bloopy for years. Bloop, bloopity bloop. I love that. That's cute. Uh, okay. Uh, a little story before we get into our stream of story of this. So, She's got the old intro out, which is her playing on people's like, I don't want to say like loyalty or sentimentality. It's like, guys, remember this was my intro back before everybody hated me so much and everybody knew just exactly who I really am. This is when some of you actually liked me and, and wished the best for me. So let's go with the intro. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, and the video is called Our Old Apartment Story Time: The Real Truth. So whenever Chantal specifically put something like the real truth in the title, just understand we're getting into our old apartment story, some more bullshit. This is going to be some other crock of shit that she's had now seven days to come up with. I can't wait to hear what we're going to see about this apartment now. Here we go. <laughs> Hello, foodie beauties. <laughs> oh my gosh, I've been waiting for 15 minutes straight for kids to stop screaming in the hallway just to record this. All right. Oh, okay, immediately, what is up? What is up with the voice? The voice is different. We have a new low BMI voice and our face is looking higher BMI than ever. <clears throat> Lisa Bear, thank you for the super chat. hi welcome back welcome back i feel like i've been gone forever i know i said i was on a youtube band but the reality is is that i have a huge zit and i didn't want to come on camera <laughs> i'm just kidding so today's subject is actually something i've been wanting to talk about sort of since i got here i feel like people have already talked about this at nauseam but maybe you should hear it from me our old apartment our old apartment is also one of my favorite songs from the Bare Naked Ladies. But anyways, I don't. Okay, okay. So she must have heard something. There's a vibe. 
correct me if I'm wrong, but here's the feeling I'm getting. This is not her low BMI voice and she looks angry. There's some, there's a vibe in this video. Something's gone on. The voice is almost like a cover up for some kind of rage. She sounds pissed to me. Is it possible that since, you know, she's been on her band for seven days and now has fuck all to do, she's watching more videos even than ever and with more intensity than usual. So is it possible, considering Alla spoke again the other day about their apartment, that she was watching the video and heard something that pissed her off so good that she paused the video, slapped on this lazy eye makeup and came to film this video while actively pissed off because she sounds really mad. We've only heard her speak for like a minute. You can, you can feel, Ooh, the voice even the, it's, it's like the rage voice, but covered up with like a sweetness that does not equal the low BMI voice. You can feel the fake Sarah. Thank you for the super chat. We will get to the butt stuff. I know some of us are excited to talk butt stuff and cheese on a Friday. I know, I know. But again, for the normies, we, we do the Chantal first. I digress. So anyway, also, I just want to say, I hope you're all doing well. And I really did miss you guys. And I'm so glad to be back. But I feel like I'm just going to be trying to pump out content as much as I can. And of course, I will be resuming my live streams. So we will get back to beezing pronto. All right. So Okay, I, again, I know this is fucked and you might be like, wow, you're really reading way too much into this. But when you've watched Chantal as long as I have, watch the way as she will, as she says, we'll be back to beezing soon, pronto. She blinks twice and there's something about the way she moves her head and blinks. You can tell she's angry. She only does this kind of thing. Watch this. Watch this. Dreams, so we will get back to beezing pronto. It's that weird slow blink that like eyes, you know, like extended eyes closed blink and the, uh, the head shake that's pissed off Chantal. She does that when she rages. All right. So our old apartment, I'm going to do a little story time basically. So we used to live around Salmia in Kuwait. So the apartment that you're seeing circulating online before we lived here was Salah's apartment. And I stayed there after we were married. I will show you some pictures behind the scenes that we have not shown anyone. So they are kind of private. I know that because I've basically clammed up and used to come from a place that was very open and I was very transparent with my audience to needing a bit more privacy, actually a lot more privacy than most people are used to. That opened up the opportunity for all kinds of wild speculation to happen. And I'm really trying hard not to address rumors and negativity because it just keeps going and going. And I- <sighs> The fact that y'all didn't show us the little crack shack that you were shacked up together in, uh, is because now you're being all private and it's led to all kinds of speculation. No, don't blame us for speculation. His ex bestie came out and throw you guys and threw you guys right under the bus after you said all, all that you had to about his wife. Don't be mad. Be mad. If you have to be mad at anyone, be mad at Allah. I, I don't, it's led to all this speculation. We're allowed to speculate. Who are, who are you to be complaining that we're speculating? You should be grateful because the day people stop speculating is the day no one's even watching you anymore or giving you that much thought. So be like, oh, thank God they still speculate through my boring crap. They're still speculating. Kenny, thank you for the super chat. There's something going on. Is it really a pimple? Who the hell knows? I realized that if I learned anything... Being forced to take a week off has made me reflect a lot. So I'm actually thankful for that. And I'd say that it just, negativity just breeds negativity. And it's no matter what I say or explain away, it's just falling on deaf ears. <laughs> so I'm just going to save myself the mental anguish and just live my life. That being said, of course, all are welcome here. But if you're just going to be negative and hateful, I will delete your comments. And uh. 
Everybody get on for another rodeo. Same thing all the time. Every time she has one of her little breakdowns. I will be deleting comments. I don't want negativity. You're the negativity. What are you going to eat yourself? Because if not, you are the negativity that you bring to your channel and to this community in general. Hmm? It is what it is. Stop it with the, I'm going to block everyone and negativity. And they, take the criticism. Take the criticism. Answer people back. If they leave you, not just over the top shitty, but critical comments, why don't you go back and forth with people a little bit? All this flip-flopping. People need neck braces if they're in your community. You know what? I think they're allowed to criticize your behavior. And not everything is such a, an attack. Oh, my God. They hate me so much. Everyone's just a hater. No. But even followers or fans or whatever, people, people can question some of your shit behavior, Chantal. Noel, thank you for the super chat. It's It's something. It's, I don't know what the hell this voice is. It sounds like low BMI plus like a vocal fry. It's very weird. And the way she mocks my voice, oh, her smoker's voice, oh, her smoker's voice. Look at her going out of her way to have vocal fry. Like, what's the matter with you? It's not cute. And block you from my channel. You are free to comment any constructive feedback you like. But when it comes to drama and negativity, I'd rather just keep it away from my channel, even if that means axing some hate watching views. I'm axing some hate watching views. So in the video, this is what she's saying, but then posts up on her community tab about mm, the hateful reaction channel stealing her views. No. It's to all the people who got blocked by you today, just for example, and had all their deleted comments. Maybe they're watching reaction channels today. So you're mad about the reaction channels. You're mad that you're losing the views, but you're also the one, you know, like, like helping people find reaction channels. I don't, I don't know what to tell you or encouraging people. If I was blocked on her channel, just like everyone else, I'd be seeking out a place to go and bitch. Well, hello, new bitchers. Welcome to the girl gang. <laughs> Ori, thank you for the super chat. I'm hoping that in time I will redeem myself enough that I will build a more positive audience. All right. So as for this apartment in the Selmia area here in Kuwait, Salah comes from a family home. He lived with his father and his sisters. His mother did pass away, rest in peace, uh, for her soul. And Oh, how sweet. For her soul, it's rest in peace, which, yeah, is, is the amount of respect you should give to the dead. You never speak ill of the dead. That's what I say, right? But just last week, I'm not going to repeat what she said about Koki's mother, but um, <clears throat> if it's rest in peace to her, maybe a little more respect for the people who are still around. Because what you were saying about, about her, that's just disgusting. Disgusting, Chantal, for real. Caro's Corner, thank you for the super chat. He decided at some point to move away and get some independence on his own. And therefore he found a, I guess he would call it like a bachelor pad. It was all he really needed um, was just a, a small place for himself. And mm, he didn't really need anything. Like just, a, just a little sidebar about the culture is that normally people live at home until they get married. It is what it is. It's, it's an olive thing. So the fact that hmm, Salad wanted his little bachelor pad and got away from his family leads me to believe that he was a playboy and Salad was definitely fucking, you know, it is what it is. It's, you're looking for a preach. You're looking to, to fucking the preach. And he was working and living on his own and doing his own thing. He was living on his own for about two years and after we were married, I stayed with him there and he would send me progress pictures of him preparing the place for me. And it's actually really endearing because it will always have good memories for us because this is our first time being together alone. And he did a lot. 
Can you imagine the disrespect of moving your wife into the place where you have been charmooting for the past two years? <laughs> that's not fucked up. That, that's, that's super fucked up. Um, I've known a bunch of people, let's say, who have gotten married in their country and then sponsored their spouse to come. Most people move before they move in a, a wife, a husband or whatever. They move because why would you move your wife into the place that you've been charmooting? It's just not done. You know, now I do understand he got a new bed, but that's, that's the alleged story. Everywhere you sit, you go and sat on his couch. You went and sit on that couch to break the couch. He's probably boned on that couch. Girl, you're sitting in other people's juices and you're calling yourself a wife. That's disgusting. My sassy bear. Thank you for the super chat. Ought to prepare the place for me and make it more comfortable for me. As you can see, I'm a very large bodied woman and I make no apologies for that. And I'm actually not ashamed of that in any way, but I just say that because it's a fact. And if you are also a large woman, you should not be ashamed as well. I'm sure you're beautiful just the way you are. So he did things for me that just made me feel like he really appreciated my company and was really looking forward to me coming. So she really did just call herself large bodied. And I don't know about you guys, but if anyone was into vines the way I was, the first thing that came to my house, uh, my house, my head, when she said large bodied was that old thing about uh, the manager, Rachel, you, uh, what was it? You, uh, something that has body ass beat, oompa loompa body ass beach. <laughs> Why'd you take me off the schedule, Rachel? You oompa loompa body ass beach. Or you might hear people in the hall. There's a lot of children that live around here. No, okay, we know it's super obese, but that's funny. Large body. <laughs> large bodied. I am a large bodied woman. <laughs> that's funny. She's nuts. Miss Movie Buff, thank you for the super chat. Anyway. So as I was traveling... And when I arrived here, he would send me pictures showing me the progress he was making, set up his place to make it more comfortable for me. He did mention that he was thinking of moving to a bigger apartment. And that was his plan all along that whenever. He yeah, uh, there's a theory out there again. I don't freaking know, but a theory that single people without status, let's say, would only have been given a place like salad had before, but now that he has a wife, he would have been entitled to get like kind of a better place or like, a, you know, like not entitled, but he could move into a place like with families, let's say, because he's now married. So it would be another plus for him to have a wife that he got to upgrade his living situation from the cell we had before to the cell we have now. I, I don't know. Ghost of Sashimi. Thank you for the super chat. He married, he would move into a bigger place. A side note is, no, our place here is not perfect. It's not the most luxurious. It's not luxurious at all. It's not even a Motel 6, but go on, hypocrite. I know there's lack of decoration and everything, but for us, it's perfect. And we actually have a lot of plans to travel in the future. So there's no point in, for us in investing too much into a place here at the moment. It has everything we need, honestly. So you're both broke. What do they put up? They're acting like foreign investors. You know what I mean? It makes no sense for me to drop all my my big, big money <laughs> into these places. Neither one has a dime right now in their pockets. They both lied to each other about how much money they had. Now it's like, oh crap, you're broke. Oh crap, you're broke. And they've just been waiting on a YouTube payout all month. Mm, it makes no sense to be investing right now. <laughs> Pay off the Kia before you talk to us about your investments, okay? Liar. Elizabeth, thank you for the super chat. We're happy with that. We like the area, we like where we are, we're close to family and stuff like that. So we just really... Oh, we, we like the area, even though you don't walk around it. And we are close to family, even though his family can't fucking stand you. Yeah, priorities. Really enjoy it. Now back to the old place. I will show you some pictures here that Salah has sent me in showing me the preparations 
uh, as they were happening. He did a very big, deep clean of his place. Okay. Let's investigate. This doesn't look like the same place. Look at the layout. I don't know what they're showing us, but is that, wait, oh, this was the old place? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, this is not the new place. Look at the placement of the washer and the dryer thing. This is the old place. Yeah, and why is it red? Hmm. Weird. Hmm. Red to make it look better, right? Rose colored uh, <clears throat> lighting. Yeah, okay. Whatever. It wouldn't help. Rearranged things. Uh, he did purchase a larger bed as he had a very small bed before. He got me some Bath and Body Works candles because I did say that I, I really enjoyed those. And the lies. You brought your own candles. You're a liar, Chantal. Stop lying. Saturday Baker. Thank you for the super chat. No matter where you live, you light a three wick Bath and Body Works candle. And it feels homey. So he went out of his way just to like. Yeah, here's something with those candles. Because I've recently got my first of those candles. And the smell is overwhelming when you light one of those three wicks. And I also got the champagne toast because I'm a base in beach. Uh, one of them is overwhelming. And my place is much bigger than their apartment. It's no flex at all. I also have a small place. But it, it is what it is. It's bigger than theirs. You light one of those candles. Like you got to crack a window after a while. You're getting like like suffocated by the smell they're overwhelming do you remember that when she took us on the apartment tour there was like how many of those candles burning every room had a bath and body works candle in it and i'm like how are you still conscious i would be on the floor foaming at the mouth the stink in that place must be real bad if you got to keep those candles going that many candles in such a small place yikes girl there was three of them. Yeah, that's right. Two in the bedroom, one in the living room. I, ah, I have a headache just, just like thinking about that smell. Nixie, thank you for the super chat. Two little things like that that would make me comfortable. So just little things like that. You will notice in a lot of the pictures, there's a lot of red light. I guess just for mood setting, we really like to have that light on most of Lies. the time instead of the yellow light, which we have mostly here. So even though the apartment was small, it was quite charming. I'm used to living in smaller apartments. I've lived in small apartments for most of my life. And to me... Yeah, the villa's on two floors, two bedrooms. Even the, the place she lived in Gatineau with Bibi before had an extra bedroom. We know that because she slept alone in it for the pretty much three years <clears throat> of their at the end of their relationship. You're not used to small spaces. You were now in a windowless one-room cell with another human being. I am just used to small spaces. <laughs> I shit on everybody else's small spaces. But for me, I just love a small space with my husband. <laughs> Angel Wings, thank you for the super sticker. The size of the apartment is not important. It was the size of his heart. Okay, that was super cheesy. But it's true. I didn't come to Kuwait for an apartment. I came to Kuwait to be with my husband and make travel plans, develop our couples channel, and just keep working. So I need to... The way she just wagged her chin. Just keep working. When have you ever worked, you lazy slob? You went to Kuwait to get married, not to be with my husband. You went to Kuwait because no one in Canada would bite <clears throat> so you found someone who was so desperate for papers that they bit and you went all the way to the other side of the world to get married and play house with somebody else who doesn't want you but you get to flash a ring in our faces and now you're making travel plans while you work <laughs> work <laughs> girl please to regain focus and work on those things I was very, very happy that first night of being there. I remember. Uh, really? Really? You were happy? Because I don't know. I can only speak for myself. But if it's my first night with my husband, I would be pretty disappointed if he didn't touch me.
as maybe just me girl world bizarre thank you for the super chat um walking up to the building and there were a lot of stray cats around and i just thought oh my gosh i want all the cats <laughs> there was like a mama cat and yeah christina for sure girl thank you for the super chat under some palm trees out front of the building and with her kittens and it was just the cutest thing i rem i kind of miss the old street we used to live on in salmia there was when you come up the highway our place wasn't far away from there and there were is this is about building the, she's talking to the new audience that doesn't exist again talking about what where we used to live and where we used to live that makes it sound like she lived there for like i don't know a year or so you know what i mean she was there for what less than two months before they effed off and went to the new place where we used to live i used to love the place we used to live girl you you probably could if if you walked in front of the old apartment you wouldn't even know that it was that you know mm, where we used to live <laughs> you you live at the villa you mean the the cell that your your fake husband used to live in? I don't know. I wouldn't be pining back to like or romanticizing the place that my husband was whoring around for two years before I came there. <clears throat> Lori, thank you for the super chat. She definitely has gained weight. It shows in the sides of her face, and all the the filters in the world aren't helping right now. For a few restaurants and like little shops. Just like a few restaurants that were open late selling like falafel and quesadillas and things like that. A mixture of sandwiches and fast foods. And then there was like a little mini grocery store type of thing that are pretty common here. Um, little markets that have like toys and drinks and whatever else. And then you, we would park in this big parking lot and... This is so dumb. She's finally like showing pictures. She even said, these are our private pictures from behind the scenes. How many shots of parking lots are you taking as like, oh, your private stash? That's so weird. I I don't know what I expected to say, but it, it wasn't parking lots, assorted parking lots and outside of buildings. Duchess of Langley, thank you for the super chat. Why has she developed a life by Jen Cackle in her voice? I don't know where the hell this new voice came from, but I don't like it. I think I like it maybe more than the old low, low BMI voice. It's slightly less irritating, but it's it's irritating in another way, you know? And something that's really interesting about here is you can pay extra wherever you live to have some guy wash your car every day. So they just like take, you know, a rag and wash off all the cars um, if you that pay them to because overnight even like your car will get full of sand and like dusty so i found that very interesting <laughs> so yeah that apartment i know it doesn't look like much to most there were a lot of good memories made there so that's what's important and we had a really good time the lies oh come on a newlywed saying that we had a really good time and memories were made there you should be able to see the sex in her eyes as she tells you that line you did nothing mm, great memories were made there <laughs> picture her imagining like them sitting on the bed together watching a jim carrey movie for the 16th time the memories of the newlywed memories <laughs> fighting squirrel thank you for the super chat girl happy friday when I first got here, the weather was a bit warmer. It's been pretty cool. It's been like six, seven degrees Celsius here lately. It's winter time here. I never expected it to be this cool here, but when I first got here, we would go a lot to beaches and be out anyways with friends and family, having barbecues and just Stop, stop it. You went out with a friend or a group of friends two times and then World War Three started with the friend group. And what do you mean with family? The family can't stand you. Stop lying. I, I, everybody believes that. Of uh, What uh, Alice said. Oh, girl, there's no way that that family likes you. It is what it is, okay? Kwan, thank you for the super chat. She does sound sad and pissed. And I mean, stuck in a situation you can't get out of? Too fucking bad. She made that bed, then sat on it and broke it. She can sleep in it now. Like I said, going to the beaches, going camping, 
doing all this other stuff, going out, making vlogs. By the way, we have an entire couples channel where we did a lot of things. You can see the entire journey over there. I do have some videos here about my journey coming to Kuwait as well, if you want to check those out. No one cares! See, she is talking to the uh, non-existent new audience. Like, we know this. Who are you telling this to? Girl, we know they're there. We've been ignoring them. We're going to keep ignoring them because they're boring as hell. JJ, thank you for the super chat. I don't know. Would you keep a red light on while you watch a Jim Carrey movie? That's your call. <laughs> so, yeah, back to my story. <laughs> uh, whenever I first got to the apartment and I remember walking in and just feeling almost right at home right away. It was really hot outside that evening. And so the AC was blaring. It was so cute. Like just little things like that to make me comfortable. He would do like put the AC down to 22, even though he likes it on 25. That is the fattest thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> How did you know he loved you? It's the little things. He put the air conditioner down to 22 and he likes it at 25. Oh yeah, that's that's the sweetest thing I've ever heard. What a gesture. What a great guy. Mm. Rebellion, thank you for the super chat. You're not wrong. <laughs> so things like that, just to make me comfortable and feel welcome. And so we just pretty much stayed in bed and watched movie. Here's a theory. Here's a theory. Sweat smells. If you were in a one room windowless cell, would you not want the person stuck in the cell with you to smell as least as possible? So if they didn't sweat 24 hours a day, they wouldn't be smelling like sweat on top of the blue cheese. That's incentive enough to keep that AC running 24 hours a day. Ori, thank you for the super chat and talked and got to know each other and fall more deeply in love with each other and just spend a lot of more intimate time together as husband and wife. One thing I really love about Kuwait is how hospitable and friendly the neighbors are. We had some really nice neighbors. It was a Syrian man and his wife was from Egypt and we just, uh, they would invite us over and she's the one who would randomly bring us um, the the puddings and the olives and just food that she would make like roasted corn oh that's nice did you call her a c word also and call her a charmota because that's kind of the way that you talk about his friend's wives so why don't you tell us about that war too say uh samus master thank you for the super chat she's in a motel five because she couldn't afford a motel six Bloop. if my place is a motel six she's in a motel two and sweet potatoes and we went over one evening I uh, remember and we just sat there and talked and she made us like banana smoothie and some corn and just just some delicious healthy things and it was just really nice I do find it a bit difficult because I don't speak any Arabic and so I mean I didn't couldn't really say much <laughs> in the way of any right Lynn, thank you for the super chat. But here's the thing. She's not speaking to us. She's speaking to a non-existent new audience that she thinks she's ha she has or will have. And they don't know about BBJ. That's what she's banking on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We know. And there's no one else watching, Chantal. So why don't you worry about the cats that you already have and leave every other pet alone? You're not a pet person. You can barely take care of yourself. Master taking care of yourself and then get some other pets. Anything, I pretty much had to use my translator, so a lot. Google Translate is a savior. So anyway, I just wanted to talk about that a little bit, about our first. What is that? Why so fake? I just wanted to talk about that. She's trying to make it sound off the cuff. She's written and rehearsed everything she said in this video. Ugh. Shannon verse, thank you for the super chat. Why is she trying to sound like a Kardashian? I don't know. This is the new low BMI voice. Yuck. Place. Like I said, I know I needed a lot of privacy. We're going to be opening up a little bit more as we feel comfortable. 
there are a lot of things we do want to keep private in our life. I just feel that it is healthier in a lot of ways, especially in a healthy relationship, if you want to keep it that way. But some things will all be revealed in due time. There's also a lot of information being demanded from us that we just don't feel that we owe people. So a lot of things will just remain private. But I wanted to share this story with you a little bit and talk about You know what? Information is being demanded of us. I may just want to stay private. Stay private. No one cares. Literally, no one cares. The only information everyone's been bugging you for is when are you coming back? She said in a chat yesterday that she was coming back on the 28th, just sidebar. It's literally the only thing anyone cares about. No one gives a damn about your fake marriage. I will like keep on repeating this. He is so boring. If I never have to see this loser in another video, I would consider myself very lucky. I don't give a damn to hear another pack of lies that you all will say. Whatever info you're going to be giving us is going to be bullshit. Anyway, who, who's bugging them for info? Nobody. No one cares. The only thing we cared about is your return home. Because this is god awful, man. Sing Cat, thank you for the super chat. Stray cats, junk shops, homeless people washing your car. It was paradise. It's not homeless people who wash the car. It's like... The gardien. It's like uh it's like it's like a hustle. Like someone in the neighborhood is making that cash washing the cars, you know. About you know, just the fondness I feel when I think about the old place, because it was our first time being together as husband and wife, and just the little efforts that Salah put into it to make me feel welcome made all the difference and made it a really special little place for us oh the little the fake head tilt is so puke also and do you notice she's trying to say his name correctly now you notice the emphasis on the h at the end of his name now every time she says salah ha 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 ha, ha she sings that h at the end Blech. anana meg hey girl nice to see you thank you for the super chat so that was our place in uh salmia area and yeah, I hope you enjoyed this story. And if you did, of course, please thumbs up this video. I don't usually ask for thumbs up, but I'm going to start acting more like a YouTuber. So I appreciate your viewership. AKA, I'm getting desperate because now if you search the name Foodie Beauty, you get all the reaction channels first and then you might hit her channel. So yeah, everybody hit the thumbs up. I'm going to start acting like a YouTuber because I got to get my shit back to the top of the algorithm. What is this? <laughs> Let's be real. Lakeside Bonnie, thank you for the super chat. Sex in her eyes. I mean, it is what it is. La la la, la la li, thank you for the super chat. I have expected her to nod off from boring herself. Are you kidding? She's not bored. This is her being her fake influence herself with voice and fat face included. This is Chantal at peak Chantal. She's even developed a new way. Do you notice the way her like lips are moving as she's speaking? Is she doing this into a mirror or something? There's something going on here. Hibiscus biscuit. Thank you for the super chat. What if Salad is telling her they can't do it until the fake marriage is legit? Oh, I will do you when I get to Canada. <laughs> oh my God. Maybe. And we all know she would be desperate enough to hang on. Okay, Salad, whatever you say, Salad. Let's watch another Jim Carrey movie again, Salad. Yep, I appreciate your positive comments. Please leave me some and I will like and reply. So anyways, guys, I hope you have a blessed day and Fuck off. Masalama, bye. Hope you have a blessed day. Save your fucking blessings in a basket, ma'am. No one cares. I hope you have a blessed day. I hope you rage on the internet today. How's that? <laughs> And blessed it with her head all sideways. I swear, I really got to go and get a balaclava. I have to do a parody of it. I will do this video with a balaclava on with my head all tilty and sideways to the camera talking about, have a blessed day, motherfuckers. <laughs> She's a wreck. That was a wreck, man. Ooh, seven days without seeing your damn face. And that's the first thing we get to see. Can you imagine? What is wrong with you? You are so far up your own ass, man. Ugh. I'm so glad that's over. I don't know what I actually, I, yeah, I don't know what I was expecting when she finally came back. I thought, I thought it would be a live stream. 
she's got to get that attention. <laughs> I'm surprised she hasn't come live yet, to be totally honest. Uh, you need another shower? I don't blame you. <laughs> Nambi, thank you for the super chat. What's her excuse being uh, going to be when Salad ditches her after she returns to Canada? She was brainwashed. Uh, yeah, he was abusive and you guys didn't know what was going on behind the scenes and he forced her to do all this and say all this. And You don't know what it was like for me. You don't know what I went through. I'm processing. What? Red plaid. Hey, girl, thank you for the super chat. Wait, are you telling me Salad didn't carry her over the threshold <laughs> of their first apartment together? I, I was going to say, no, he can still walk. So clearly not. <laughs> he told her, imagine her standing at the threshold. Aren't you going to carry me in? And he panics and he goes like, there's snacks on the table. And she throws him out of the way, George Costanza style. <laughs> and runs in. And he goes, but they're for the guests. <laughs> And she's already got one in each hand. <laughs> Gross. Foo, hi. Thank you for the super chat. Is this the video she's sending to Canadian immigration as evidence? Maybe. Oh, my God. When we finally got to spend our first night together as a husband and a wife. Girl, save it for the government. We don't care. And they're not going to buy it either, just so we're all clear. Julie, thank you for the super chat. Oh, you tried it? Okay. It, it tastes like fuzzy peach and Coke had a baby in a good way. I like it. Mm, I'm glad you like it. I don't get peach. I get like fruit punch. It's like if you spilled some fruit punch in a cup and then Coke. Yeah, dream world. I, I got to say, I really, really love the dream world Coke. And then I just didn't. I'm, I'm somebody who kills everything. When I discover something new that I love, I will abuse that thing. <laughs> just uh, I, like, it'll be all, let's say I drink until I can't stand it anymore. And I've gotten to the point where I cannot stand it at all anymore. But I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Samus Master, thank you again for the super chat. Okay, it's official then. She officially lives in a motel too. Yeah, I, that, I'm, I'm in full agreement with that. And that's the upgrade. That's since they moved. It was definitely a motel minus one before they did. Patricia Murray, thank you for the super sticker, girl. Okay, we have a decision to make here as a group. There's that couple vlog. <laughs> now, I know we tend to avoid the couple's channel altogether on this channel because they're awful. Do you want to watch? It's your call. We can watch. I have the tab ready to go. We watch it, but sped up sweetness. I like that. Hmm. Hmm. We don't need a pull. Yeah, unofficial pull. Y'all are saying no. That's funny. The couple's vlog is so cringe, but you'll find it funny. Well, if there's shits and gigs to be had. Hmm. We can always dip if it's got awful. You know, nothing's like holding us to this. All right. We'll watch it sped up and we'll dip if we want to. How's that? Julie, thank you for the super chat. No one gives a flying F. Exactly. Like nobody. And there is no new audience. So she, whoever she's like doing all this for, you're just wasting your words and you look even dumber than usual, Chantal. Uh, let's do it. All right. I'm down. Dahlia Dreams, thank you for the super chat. She's trying to seem helpless, coming off disgusted. Foodie Beauty will, uh, be will be fortunate to come home with no consequences. But the same can't be said for BBJ. I lost my cat earlier this week. I'm sorry for your loss, girl. I don't know that there'll be no consequences to her, though. I, I'm sticking with my theory that if she's lucky enough to get on that plane at the Kuwait airport, I have a feeling she'll never be allowed back in Kuwait. Could be wrong, but don't think I'm wrong. Graveyard Flowers, thank you for the super chat. The way she talks about how dreamy and sweet he is. He doesn't burp in my face, so he's wonderful. Ugh, I wonder if she's still farting in his direction, though. Like <laughs> That doesn't count. Her farts are cute and quirky. A chicken, a duck. Thank you for the super chat. Now it's okay to share private photos, memories, but Allah, because Allah embarrassed them. Exactly. We would have never even seen those like parking lots and stuff <laughs> if it hadn't been for Allah. So Allah, thank you. Uh, shukran. <laughs> we appreciate it. No BS. Thank you for the super chat. You are legit funny. Thank you for the laughs. Why, thank you. You guys are legit funny too. The best part of this channel is the chat. I'll go stand by that forever. It is what it is. Uh, VJJ, thank you for the super chat. Thoughts and prayers to the airplane seats. Oh, they're getting farted on. They're getting crop dusted. Ugh. No, thoughts and prayers to the next person who has to sit in her airplane seat. How's that? Ghost of Shasin. 
Ghosts of Sashimi. Thank you for the super chat. Imagine moving to marry a man with papers only to get executed because she didn't keep that mouth shut. Oh, they, they won't execute her. No, they're not starting a whole international incident because of her loud mouth. They'll just kick her out of the fucking country and not allow her to come back in. It's really that simple. You go back to Canada, lady. You you sit there and talk your shit. You go home. Don't come back here. <laughs> like, Don't call us. We'll call you. And we forgot your number, you know? <sighs> All right. Let's get into the couple's vlog. <clears throat> like I said, we'll speed it up and we can dip whenever we want and we can start talking about cheese or whatever. Okay? Hold on. Let me get the tab. Okay, so couple vlog with sharks and dinosaurs. It's Girl World's ver uh, version of Sharknado. Megan is a 2022 horror movie produced by James Wan and Blue House. We love James Wan movies, such as The Conjuring and Insidious. He also produced the Annabelle series. His films are uniquely creepy, so we were excited to see that the film got awesome critic reviews. The audience score was a bit less, but that happens. Regardless of the tomato meter, we love to judge the experience for ourselves. Hello guys, how are you doing? Hi King Beezer. Oh, that's where they were going! Okay, she had posted up on her, on her Instagram. Hold on, let's go back. We gotta take a look at that fucking BG-ass looking outfit. Wait, 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 where is he? Ah! So she had posted up on her uh, Instagram a picture of them going out. This is, it, it must be this, because this is what he was wearing. He's wearing this, like, white blazer, and it's got a skull, like, embroidered on it from Zara. It's, uh, it's a look. <laughs> He's looking very, like, Saturday Night Fever, very John Travolta, very Bee Gees, very yuck. How are you doing? Hi, King the film is about Megan, designed to be the ultimate toy for any child. A robot friend with unprecedented artificial intelligence who syncs with their primary user to give them the ultimate personal experience. Megan will do anything for their human friend. Play, counsel, listen, and even, well, evil things apparently. <laughs> you will have to- um, you know you have nothing to talk about in your couple's vlog when you're literally giving us the rundown of this movie, Megan. She's telling us the plot! Like, uh, there's Siskel and Fat Ebert now. ...to watch to find out. It's a perfect blend of horror and comedy, and since it's rated PG-13, it is not a gory flick at all. We recommend this film for the perfect date night. Whoa! Amazing view. Oh, they're giving date night recommendations now. I don't know about you guys, but the last person that I want date recommendations for is somebody in a platonic fake marriage who's not really going on dates or fucking. I don't want your advice. If anything, it's like, I'll do the opposite <laughs> of whatever you're doing and guaranteed to have better results. So you went to a horror movie dressed as a BG? Okay, I'm going to go to an action movie dressed as a Power Ranger. And I will probably fuck more than you have on your honeymoon dressed as a Power Ranger. Mara Lee, thank you for the super chat. She does, sounds like she's been sobbing or like very angry. And she's trying to like, like ooh, suppress the rage. <laughs> oh, there's stuff, like living stuff. I can smell the earth and the water and everything. Oh, those are sharks. <laughs> The one will buy it, no? <laughs> no. Hello, guys. Hi, guys. We're here in the ecosystem section. Come, guys, and join us in this journey. So. He changed his outfit. This is two dates? This is two days, or does he keep outfits in the car so they pretend like it's two days? There's outfit switches when you're dressed like a Bee Gee? Who knew? I wonder if the pants to go with that outfit were bell bottoms. <laughs> I would have been just like if I was Chantal walking behind him in the mall, do 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 like saying <laughs> BG songs at him all day long. But I'm sure she couldn't because he would have been offended and you know maybe not come to Canada. She got he's licking her ass so hard, she's licking his ass so hard. Oh my god, he's so good looking in his fucking BG's outfit. Ugh. Ro, Ro, thank you for the super chat. Hi, 
Roro, exactly. Oh my God. She's hitting that amount of words. You're right. Like when you filled up your book report with bullshit to hit the word requirements, that's exactly why she gave us the synopsis of Megan. Bang on. <laughs> They're all real plants. Yeah. Oh, I love the natural things. It's like a cave here. <laughs> Waterfall. Thank you for the super chat. Now I have an image of FFG dressed as a Power Ranger running around a Comic Con event, approaching strangers to ask if they want to go see an action movie. <laughs> no, I would use my Power Ranger suit purely for seduction. So picture me. <laughs> You're like flirting with someone wearing a Power Ranger suit. Like, hey, baby, how's it going? What's your name and what's your number? And you're just like sitting on their lap as an obese Power Ranger. Like, I know you want to hit it. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> you're about to like get intimate with your boo and whatever. You're like, oh, let me turn on some romantic music. It's a fucking Power Ranger theme song. Do, 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 do. And it starts playing. And it's just like, you know what? Frenchie, I fucking had it with you. I'm out of here. <laughs> Whoa. Are there any bugs? It's a forest and bugs uh, sound. Hello, my friends. We are under attack. In the system. <laughs> oh, my God. I hate him. Oh, my God. Why would you leave that in? Uh, does she want us to hate him more? Because you don't really have to do that, Chantel. Oh, he's so embarrassing. Just, just uh, that eyebrow, right? I don't want to hear someone being like, like a kid. It's like she's going around the biodome with her kid, you know? And then he's also doing the eyebrow thing. Like, which one are you? Are you trying to seduce us or are you five? You can't be both. Some kind of fruit here. It looks like durian. Uh, I'm stupid ahead. I, I can't stand this. Oh. All kinds of bugs. I knew it. Uh, I will kill you, Chantal. <laughs> um, excuse me. What the hell did I just skip ahead to? Uh, I need to hear that again, maybe with a little bit of context. Hold on. <laughs> Ooh. Whoa. I will kill you, Chantal. <laughs> oh. What the fuck was that? <laughs> oh my god, guys, he's just so cute. You don't know all the cute little things he says to me behind the scenes. Chantal, I will kill you. <laughs> You better get on that plane. He hates you more than we do. Don't panic, baby. I'm with you. What is called? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. And that little moment now, and then she's all, tee hee, tee hee. Wait, because when he gets to Canada and leaves her ass, if, mm, or just leaves her ass, whatever, that that clip that we just saw right there is going to turn into, guys, I'm going to the police station. I'm going to file a police report. He threatened to kill me on video. You all saw it too. Three of them. Four. More shots? Yeah. I don't think so. If you guys know this, just uh, write it down in the comments. Yeah, it's oh. Oh. 
Crocodile. Hello, buddy. Your teeth is so long. And from the top, as usual. Do you like the place, baby? Yeah, it's really cool. I hate when they call each other baby. It's so forced. And oh my God, yeah, this is so cool. Is this another free place? We gotta find this. What is what the hell is this place even called? I love when we Google where they are and we find out it costs like a dollar to get in. <laughs> How would I Google this? Sharks? <laughs> what is this place even that they are? Dinosaurs? Wait. Okay. Are they at a cultural center? <laughs> Does anybody know? I don't know. Let's just go with, the, oh, actually that looks, that is exactly where they are. I can tell by the pictures. Okay, what's the price? What is the price? I'm going to look for the price while I press play on their boring ass video. Hold on. Time to go down. Yella. To the cave. I'm scared. Oh, cute. Okay, okay, here we go. We got another fucking struggle date going on. Adults, eight, uh, 18 years and over. 3KD. That's that's 3KD. Oh. Wait. Oh, a chaperone is 2KD. So, oh, okay. So he had to pay 3KD and then her, the chaperone, gets in for 2KD. I get it. <laughs> oh, my God. This is so stupid. <laughs> Nice view along the way. Hi. Ah, well, Rebecca, you're not wrong, girl. Thank you. Yeah. Whoa. This is fun. Stop lying to your new husband, Pam. And you're a liar. Capricorn NJ, thank you for the super chat. <laughs> Oh, I can't, I can't put that in the new uh, intro. Freaking YouTube is coming so, down so hard on people for swearing and any perceived violence and stuff. Watch someone will report it. Oh my God, violence in the intro. Can't do it. What are you looking at? One thing I always wondered with the shark being in the tank with all the other fish, like, does he just get to pick whoever he wants for lunch any given time? What a variety. That's what she's thinking of? The fish selection to the sharks? Not everything is about a meal. Damn it, Chantal. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What a lucky shark. He just gets, like, his pick of whatever he wants on the tank. Becca Peters, thank you for the super chat. Santa with aquarium. <laughs> okay, like the fish are nice. I got nothing to say. I like to smoke a J and watch fish. It is what it is. That's a very nice, soothing pastime. Um, but this is your couples channel that you're trying to like get off the ground this is not the kind of content that's getting anything off the ground this is going to bury your shit into the ground shannon verse thank you for the super chat and we finished from the aquarium now to the dinosaur really? yeah i'm enjoying you edited a video you took the time Edit and you left in so much time of y'all going up a uh, escalator. Wow. Wow. Riveting newlywed content here, guys. Christina, thank you for the super chat. It is. Yeah. <laughs> I'm always nervous about this part. <laughs> you know your low mobility when stepping off an escalator makes you nervous. The ostriches were bigger back then, I guess.
Oh, Janet, I was just making a joke. Thanks for the super chat. Why do they need a chaperone if they're married? I was joking. Like, like she's not his wife. She's his mommy. She's just there to accompany her little sunny boy to the, <laughs> to the fucking wherever the hell they are. You know, I don't know. Maybe this is a me thing. I guess, you know, like to each their own. Some people might enjoy this content, but like, this is so boring. Um... I wouldn't spend my day doing this like in my own city if I was bored. You know what I mean? I'd rather just nap my day. That That's a better day for me. And this is your honeymoon content that you took the time to edit. And you have the audacity to call this content that people would be wanting to rip off. This is the first couples video I've seen in ages because I avoid this channel. It is what it is. It just, you know, we've detoxed from her for a week. I thought, okay, let's let's dip in. Let's give it a chance, you know. This is so bad that here's what this kind of content does, Chantal. I'm like, okay, I've given it a chance. I try it again. It's just as bad as the last time I watched. So I'm going to avoid your channel now for another couple of months because why the hell would I watch this crap? I don't give a damn about what dinosaurs and like fucking fish, you know? If I if I want to learn about fish or dinosaurs, I can go to YouTube, find better content than this and actually learn something at the same time. I don't need to watch your boring self and your fake husband walk around doing nothing for your three KDs. Like, come on. Flirty, you know, Hershey, thank you for the super chat. My ears hurt from laughing too hard. <laughs> All right. Chantal with a dinosaur. <laughs> Whoa. No, there's fucking Lord Baroque comes through and teaches us more about dinosaurs than they have. They're just standing there going, Wow, Chantal next to dinosaur. Like, who cares? <laughs> Yo, Blossy Fallows. It's so huge, huh? Exactly. This movie buff, exactly. Like a school field trip. Thank you for the super chat. finished it is closing we didn't get to see all of the museums we were told each one would take a half an hour each but that's not true especially if you're filming and you're still like me <laughs> we might come back for a part two but in the meantime we hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching thanks guys for watching and uh, i hope you enjoy with us see you next time bye bye, bye. for the love of god please don't go back for uh, round two or part two oh my god why would you go back part one was garbage you should have thrown out the footage Now we're watching the fountain. <laughs> oh, okay, serial killer vibes. Jesus Christ. <laughs> get out of here. You're haunting me. Get get out of here. Get out of here. Can't stand him. You can make all the serial killer faces that you want to in the world. It's not gonna make me like you salad. He's so boring. And as boring as her content always is, it's way, way, way worse when he's there. I don't care. It is what it is. Ghost of Sashimi. Thank you for the super chat. Chantal Kingdom and Amelia Dependosaurus Rex. <laughs> Serial killer vibes. Yes. Oh, all he does is IF himself. Hey, eh, Blondie B. It's just so gross. He really thinks he's hot shit. He is not nearly as like... um 
appealing as he thinks he is. <laughs> Nobody loves salad the way salad loves salad, you know? Just Aussie. Thank you for the super chat. Of course, they show Dino bumhole. Oh, that's what she's into. She's wondering, like, I wonder if they were fucking on their honeymoon. <laughs> jealous. Jealous of the dinosaur butts. <sighs> well, that was awful. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. The, forget about the couple's video. Let's just pretend like we didn't even watch that because, like, oh, that's what I'm going to do. She was banned for seven days from YouTube. She comes back and that, that first video we watched, that is what you get after seven days of hiatus? And you have the audacity to rage about that on your community tab and bitch about it because people are taking your content. I know I keep saying it, but I really mean it, Chantal. You need to be grateful that anybody's watching any of this crap. Any of this crap. That boring, that boring was so boring. That boring was so boring. And the first video was just you lying. You were lying about all kinds of things. You're embarrassed because of, of Allah's video showing that dump where you guys used to live. That's fair. But all the little red lights. <laughs> and uh, by the way, there was no red light in the in that house where she's like, oh, we, we used to have the red lights on. No, she did some kind of a red color filter over the picture because she didn't want us to see how god awful it really was. But if you want to see how god awful it really was, Salad showed it the other day. And Salad, Allah showed it the other day in his video. That place is a dump. The new place also a fucking dump. A, a slightly upgraded dump, but still a dump. No windows, no nothing, no space to, to, to spin around in your own kitchen. Uh, keep trying to romanticize it, Chantal. I don't know what to tell you. None of us are buying this crap. And the, the new audience that you think you're doing all this for doesn't exist. And they're never going to exist. You're a hateful, horrible person. Until you change then maybe you'll get some people on your side. But in terms of a new audience, whether you change or not, you're not getting a new audience. You need to start banging out something that's worth a damn. If you start putting out content that's worth watching, then you will maybe catch a new audience. You're not catching anything new with this same old boring crap. And you're just pissing off the people who have been around forever. I mean... Less and less of those people are watching now too. And it's only going to get worse unless you get your head out of your ass and do something to fix your own fucking content. Stop trying to blame the reaction channels. It's got nothing to do with reaction channels. Look at the height of crackhead Olympics. You've never made so much money in your life as you did in the year that you were with Koki. It had, how come the reaction channels didn't even come into play then? It was because of you. The content was more interesting. People were more interested in the content. Now, I'm not telling you go back to the crackhead or go back to the Coke or anything, but you got to figure out a way now to get the people back. And it's not by lashing out at the reaction channels because we've just been doing the same old, same old. And at this point, you really do need us more than we need you. It is what it is. I don't know what to say. I'm still so bored of her. I, uh, seven days of a break. I thought today would be much more like, not interesting, but I thought I would be more open to whatever content she was going to put out today. I find I'm just as bored. It feels to me like there wasn't a break. It feels like we were watching her yesterday. You know, where's the break? I still don't fucking care. I'd still rather to be watching a uh, Doherty dozen to be totally honest. We got Lushy now. Exactly. Sienna White, you get it, girl. Exactly. We were going to do Doherty dozen tonight. Full disclosure. I didn't even realize because this week, Went by so fast. I didn't realize Chantal's punishment would end today. Hey, Tika Pika, how are you, girl? Happy New Year. Um, Yeah, and anyway, I had prepared and edit two videos of Doherty Dozen for us to do today. But then, okay, Chantal came back. I know everyone would be like foaming at the at the mouth to watch a little Chantal. So I thought, all right, we're going to do Chantal for today. Um, Chantal was god awful. I'm glad we got that out of the way. That means that tomorrow... We can go into Doherty Dozen stuff. And I guess the advantage is there's more videos. There, there's so much content. It doesn't end with Alicia, right? So I already edited two videos together. Now, tonight, I'm going to go and edit another one. We have the, the birthday party for one of the kids and the, the, the uh, Josh, the husband. We will be watching that one, too. So tomorrow's going to be a whole lot of Doherty Dozen. We may stream twice. If Chantal gives us anything at all worth a damn, we will do Chantal also tomorrow. Uh, but priority for me tomorrow anyway, Doherty doesn't, I got something to do in the daytime will be a little, a little later, you know, 
could we do it tonight? We could do it tonight. I don't like to mix the worlds anymore because this is what I'm realizing. Some people now are either so fed up of Chantal that they don't want to watch it anymore or we're never watching Chantal. I've had a lot of people in the comments like, hey, I'm new to your channel. Who is this Chantal lady? And I respect that. Like if you're here for Doherty does and stuff, I, I just don't want to mix anymore. You, you know what I mean? We got to keep it totally separated because like, it's not that I mind explaining the whole Chantal lore to everyone. Look, we Bambi, you know, we explain everything. I'm just so bored of her right now. I don't even have the desire to explain her shit. I don't fucking care about Chantal. I would much rather just be Doherty Dozen. Hmm? End this live and just start a new Doherty Dozen one right away. I swear to God, we could do that if you guys are down. It's only 830. Should we put, let me put up a poll. We'll do what you, what you, whatever you guys want to do tonight. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, although, no, you know what? I'm not going to put up a poll. We're not going to do it tonight. Let's be mature about it. Let me go in. It'll be better to end this. And then I have time to edit the whole birthday party. It'll give us a longer stream of Dr. D dozen for tomorrow. All right. We'll really just, we'll get into it tomorrow. That'll be what we're doing. Yes, yes. I have something to do early tomorrow in the day. When I get back, we're going to go live. Yes, we're going to do Doherty Doesn't and the Van Guy, Red Phoenix. We're going to do that on Twitch tomorrow. All right. I got to show you guys this Van Guy for anyone who hasn't seen. It. It's so relaxing. Roll up a J or yeah, whatever, whatever it is you like to do or a snack or a Coke Zero, whatever's your thing. Get that shit ready for Van Guy tomorrow. He's a whole vibe. Okay. <laughs> just Ozzy, I didn't mean to tease. I just... You know, I thought about it better, and I think that makes more sense. Because even the two we have for tonight, I edited them, so they're brief. I will go on to editing. We will edit. We will end the stream now, and I will. I will start editing the birthday party. Unless there's more that's been put up, maybe we won't even bother with the birthday party because it, it kind of sucked. I'm not even lying. We'll see. We'll see what's up when I step away from this. I want to watch Alicia. Screw up creamsicle floats. Oh, that was in the edit. We will be watching that tomorrow. The chocolate ice cream. Ugh, it looks so disgusting. One of the kids said that it tastes exactly like a Tootsie Roll, which is interesting. I'm intrigued, but also not intrigued enough to ever try that ever. That's just gross. That's just gross. Booty thing. Are we doing this on Twitch? No, we're going to keep all uh, Doherty Dozen stuff. We'll always be doing it on YouTube. The um, the Twitch stream tomorrow will be my new rabbit hole. This weird guy who lives in a van and chases snow in the winter and likes to shovel his car out of the snow for no goddamn reason. I want to contact this guy and be like, why don't you come and do your snow things in Montreal? And you know what? If you parked right behind my car, uh, when you wake up in the morning to start digging, why don't you help me out? Why don't you just dig? If you enjoy digging out cars, hey, there's another one. Knock yourself out. Thank you. <laughs> I just have to get in touch with this guy. Anyway. All right, y'all. Listen, for tonight, that's what we're going to do. I think this is a better plan. So tonight, we're going to end the stream so I can go and start editing right away. All right? More Doherty doesn't. It just means um, a longer stream for tomorrow. Very exciting. So tomorrow, we're going to stream at least two times. <laughs> and I do mean at least two. Maybe maybe there'll be a third stream tomorrow. Tomorrow's just going to be a free for all of lives. We're going to do Dr. D Dozen content over here on YouTube. We're going to do my new uh, rabbit hole over on Twitch. And then if Chantal gives us anything that's worth a damn, we will come live again uh, and watch it together. All right. There may be a lot of stuff going on tomorrow. Tambi, I'm such an idiot. I already forget his name. I've subscribed to his channel, so he can't be lost forever. But I have no idea. I have the worst memory of all time. I will have all that info tomorrow for sure, for sure. And we'll watch a couple of his videos. It'll be great. For my birthday, exactly, Bubbles. We will spend a little bit of your birthday with you. Uh, I hope you have a little time to spend with us. If not, we get it. Live, live your best life, girl. Enjoy your birthday. Um, All right, so that's the plan, everybody. Traveler's Tales. Yes. Oh, my God. That's it. Yes, 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 yes. Poggy, thank you for the, super, uh, for the super chat, for the info. Traveler's Tales. That is the guy. That is the channel name, Traveler's Tales. <sighs> yes. So if anyone wants to check him out a little bit tonight, I wouldn't blame you. Mm, get cozy. The videos are nice and cozy. Tomorrow we'll watch uh, a, couple, a couple of different ones. We'll go back in time. We'll see the old 
god awful living situation that he used to be in this like horrible Ford car. It was just awful. And there was a girl with him and stuff. And then we'll watch him present day in that weird, like that weird van setup he's got and the misery, the ennui because he's single now. <gasps> Ooh, it's going to be good. I can't wait. I, I, lo I love a new rabbit hole. And this guy's fun. Y'all, thank you so much for being here tonight. Uh, I appreciate it. Even though both of Chantal's streams sucked, it's always a good time with you guys. And it was tonight, no exception. Uh, so like I said, tomorrow, we're going to start on YouTube. We'll do a YouTube stream first. We're going to do Doherty Does. And then we're going to bounce over to Twitch later on. I'll have the details in our YouTube stream tomorrow. And then if anything, again, comes out of Chantal, that's worth a damn. We'll be live again later on in the day on YouTube. That's the plan, the tentative plan from now. We're going to end it for today so I can go and edit us some more Dacrity Dozen for tomorrow. It'll just be a longer stream, um, a more intimate beezing setting. <laughs> Everybody, thanks again for being here. Uh, whatever you're doing on this precious Friday the 13th, be safe. Keep your wits about you. Freaky deaky shit happens on Friday the 13th. Uh, keep your eyes open, all right? But whatever you're doing, have fun. Keep your masks on. And I will meet you back here tomorrow for Dacrity Dozen. Bye, guys.